These days, we're just a few clicks away from anything we want to buy. That's a great thing, right? Online shopping, it's easy, convenient. You often score a better deal, but your bargain hunt could put your child at risk. Knockoff car seats are popping up online, and they're dangerous. Certified child safety technician and founder of Tot Squad, Jennifer Saxton, joins us right now Welcome. to discuss. So where and how are these things being sold that are knockoffs? So you can find them on mass retail websites like Amazon because they have third party sellers through their marketplace offerings and websites you've never heard of, right? That might be advertised to you on social media. So you'll see an ad on your Facebook feed that looks like a legit car seat, but it's really coming from a company in China. Obviously you're gonna go through what we need to look out for so we don't become a part of this, I'll call it a scam, right? Yeah, Isn't it's it a scam? Yeah, definitely a scam. Because they're pretending to be something they're not. Absolutely, they're pretending to be safety devices. I mean, one of the number one causes of death for children is car accidents, yes. and if you think about Putting your child in a fake car seat, it's absolutely terrifying. Can we do a little comparison of, of real yeah, versus knockoff? Absolutely. So this car seat um, is actually a booster seat, and most booster seats you've seen before kind of raise your child up so that the seatbelt fits them. This one is something that helps the seatbelt fit to your child. So this is the real one. It's called a MyFold. It's great, it fits in your pocket. You can put it in your kid's backpack for a carpool. And this is the fake one. And it's just such a cheap plastic. You can kind of I mean like I could probably almost break it. In fact, it's kind of breaking right now while I do that. Um, but instead of steel inside these seatbelt guides, there's just stickers. You can kind of see the sticker is peeling off on this. And this is Trying supposed to protect God. your child. So, Think, yeah. I mean, the force of an accident is a lot yeah. more than like. Oh my gosh, there you have it. <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't take much. Yeah, imagine going 60 miles an hour down the freeway um, with your child in the back seat. So it's really scary because these, these guides aren't even locked in securely, which oh could increase the risk your child's gonna submarine, which is when they slide underneath the seat belt. Wow. Um, so you absolutely don't want that. You could be ejected from the vehicle, it's very scary. And let's move on then to other knockoff <laughs> versus real. Yeah, so this is another really cool product. It's a car seat and stroller combo. It's called the Duna. And on the Chinese fake version, which is right here, the black one, you can see there's no chest clip, um, which is something that's standard on every car seat that meets federal regulations here in the United States. And even on the labels, you can see that they're written in Chinese. Um, and the sides of the car seat don't even have the brand name written on it. So it's absolutely terrifying to see the crash test video of this car seat because it starts to just collapse um, and the child's rotation of their body let's roll, let's roll is so that damaging. So can oh, see. You, can see it. you can see the plastic base it just starts to break apart completely as this car seat is falling That's hard to apart. Watch. It is very scary because parents, they think they're doing the right thing and they mm -hmm. think they're just saving a little money. But I would say if you are, if you want to save some money or you don't have money for a car seat, know mm -hmm. that there are a lot of programs that give reduced price or even or free. free car seats. Mm -hmm. And also, if you want to know if you're picking up something reliable, you can actually go to the website for the American Academy of Pediatrics mm -hmm. and they have a list on their website so that you can know that the car seat that you are picking is safe and approved for use in the United States. Exactly, and it should come with a registration card in it. You know, it says postage, prepaid. You wanna mail that back anytime you purchase a car seat because mm -hmm. they are recalled frequently. Right. So you wanna be notified immediately. But if you're getting a car seat and it doesn't have that registration card in it, that's another red flag that maybe you've accidentally purchased a knockoff because you might be paying 50% of the price thinking you're getting 90% of the safety value. But as we just saw in that crash value, you're getting zero percent of the safety protection for your child. Is there something to be said before we go to buying safety products from a verifiable source? I you know, yeah. and, and I want to use Amazon as an example where a lot of us go buy things, but if I go into a store that I know, that store has a responsibility to make sure the products they're selling are, are up to snuff. Yeah, so I've never seen a fake car seat for sale in person. I think it's only happening online, so it's a great tip to people if you're buying a car seat. Not only can you have the benefit of being able to try it in your vehicle, make sure it fits your child and your car before you walk away with it, but you know that you're getting a legit product from one of those brick and mortar stores. Um, and then when you're shopping online, make sure that the seller, even if you are on a, a mass retail website where you know the name brand, that there's a lot of reviews, right? Because if you're seeing one with only two or three reviews, that might be a red flag. Bag, or you might even notice that the shipping lead time is like six weeks before it's going to arrive. That's usually another red flag that the product might it's be coming Amazon from China. Prime. That's not Amazon be Prime. Be aware. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you yeah. so much. Good stuff.